watercolor in a nutshell tells her life stories through her paintings. Um, she explores her identity, her culture and even her personal experiences through them. So what you want your students to do is to understand that through their painting they are telling a story about themselves and they are giving meaning to what they are doing. Hopefully through doing this they can grasp with this concept of subject matter in art. So first things first, prior to the activity you need to tell your children to bring in objects or things that they that have sentimental value to them and tell a story about themselves and their past experiences or even just objects that represent their identity and their culture, so something Australian for example. This activity takes a lot of preparation. One of the things you'll need is an individual photo of all of your students. Now I actually recommend using their school photos because in their school photos they have just a plain backdrop so when you photocopy it to A3 paper in black and white it gives that clear outline that they can follow to cut out. Some of the other things you'll need is an A3 thick paper, some scissors, pencils, and acrylic paint. With the acrylic paint, because Frida Kahlo uses mainly oil on canvas, what you could do is mix the acrylic paint with PVA glue to make a thicker substance for the children to use. So the first step is to get the children to cut out the photo copy of their photo, glue around the edges, and stick it onto the thick A3 paper. I find it important to carefully instruct the children to cut out the image really slowly and slowly paint it because I found if you don't they tend to do a really rushed and bodgy job. Next is to display the objects that the children have brought in in front of them because like Frida Kahlo, the way she works is she works in a very familiar environment surrounded by her belongings and her personal things that give her that inspiration she needs to create her artworks. So the next thing to do is to get the children to draw an outline of their objects on the A3 thick piece of paper. Again, I recommend giving clear instruction to the children that when they're making the outline of their objects that they draw a really big image so that they have that space that they need to paint on them. Once they've done that, they're ready to paint. Whilst they're painting, take it as a good opportunity to be able to question them on why they've used the colours that they've selected. Um, you can even ask them about what they're painting, what story does it tell about themselves and you can even incorporate some things of the aesthetic aspects of painting. So maybe you could ask them questions about their use of line, their use of colour and even their use of shape. Some of the things to keep in mind during this activity is when it comes to paint, children go nuts. They just want to squeeze out all the paint and mix them all together. So it's important to give them clear instructions as to how to look after the paint and the paint brushes that after painting one colour before changing to the next that they need to wash their brushes and dry them before using it again. The best thing in working with children is that they're not afraid to explore new things or even to make mistakes. That no matter what the outcome is, they are still excited and wanting to show everybody what they've done.